it's Sean again from VictorChandler.com. Welcome to a preview of day four of the Cheltenham Festival, the Blue Ribbon, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Quickly on quick review of day three in Big Books is the star, no question, of the Cotswold. Beautiful day it's been here today, but Big Books won two horses who came into the race on a hat trick of the Cheltenham Festival victories, and he was magnificent in what was probably the race of the festival. Grand Crew lost nothing in defeat, but wasn't he magnificent? You're going to hear the horses come behind me now in the Kim Muir, the penultimate race if you include the charity race of the festival. I think it's just one for the punters today. It's been obviously easily the punters day on day one, the layers day on day two, uh, day three. I think because of that big books, remember we were 11 to 10 on big books from 11 to 12 as part of our happy hour. Eagle Door we got beat, but big books took three and a half times as much on big books and wasn't it? Roar you could hear for miles on end when Big Bucks and Ruby Luby, of course, Ruby lost his whip, but of course, it meant absolutely nothing. Quickly on to tomorrow, and the JCB Triumph Hurdle starts us off. And again, I think what will happen overnight in regard to the ground is absolutely fundamental. We are expecting. <clears throat> We are expecting um, as much as maybe 10 mil. Some people, uh, other people, John Kett is actually saying it's only going to be two or three millimeters of rain. That I think will be absolutely one of the deciding factors of the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Quickly on though, the JCB tried to record the odds one, two, three, and four places. We've been one, two, three, four all the time. One roar in the background as they go over the last in the Kim Your Sam Winner. Very, very well backed up. Would love. I think uh, soft ground if the rains arrive tonight with five places in the county hurdle as well. Alarati, of course, on that uh, £75,000 bonus for that. The Albert Bartlett, I think the ground could be the key there. Cyberite would be one maybe for me. I think he's been knocking on the door all season. Still a maiden, of course, but wide open event that. And then to the Gold Cup itself, and we'll be refunding losing stakes again as we have all week. And this is on the Gold Cup. And second and third will give you a free bet to be used on and Saturday in the racing land. You talk to the key meeting there, but also 10 free spins in our casino as well. Do check out victorchandler.com for all our offers there. But the Gold Cup, how much rain? Pandorama 12 to 1 currently with ourselves at Victor Chandler. That'll go if the rain arrives. If it's 8, 10 millimetres, that will go. But who got favourite? Who will win? Will it be Imperial Commander? Will he go back to back? Will it be one of the great Mickles champions of the past? Denman or Corto Star? We'll soon find out. Do you know what? An awful lot may be decided on the Gold Cup. May happen. May be decided what happens overnight. Will there be rain? Will it be significant rain? Who knows? But one thing's for sure the blue ribbon of jump racing is tomorrow. It is the Cheltenham Gold Cup 2011. The Imperial Commander, long run, first six year old since Millhouse, back in 1963. We'll soon find out. Have a great night and be lucky. Bet now at victorchandler.com.